What's happening, everybody? Bitcoin is dumping like crazy right now. And we've got senators that are demanding answers as to what happened yesterday. What a whirlwind of events that we are experiencing right now. And still, we expect that this thing could make a turn for the better at some point today if we get news that the Bitcoin ETFs have been approved. We do expect a price pump like we saw yesterday, except hopefully without the dump uh, 10, 15 minutes later when they come out and say that it was a false report. By now, you guys probably know what happened yesterday. A tweet was sent at 411 that uh, now it looks to be a hack, okay? It has to be uh, a hack. At least that's what they are saying. Uh, and actually, the uh, support team at X came out late last night and actually confirmed this. This was a big deal. Uh, they came out and basically said, yes, it was a compromised or hacked tweet. It was not uh, something that was just scheduled or something like that, which was shocking to me. In and of itself, they gained control of the account right back 20 minutes later. And now we've got uh, a lot going on. We're going to talk about the price of Bitcoin in this video. What the hell's happening with that? And altcoins are running despite Bitcoin dumping, which is just crazy. And we've got new information. Uh, first congressional letters regarding yesterday's uh, hack hit Gary Gensler's inbox with more expected to trickle in today. We should be hearing more about what exactly happened. And uh, there is more than meets the eye that we just saw yesterday. So senators, uh, a couple of them, J.D. Vance and Senator Tom Tillis demand explanation uh, for the SEC's errant announcement of the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs. It looks as if they did not have two uh, two-factor authentication on their account, on their SEC account over on X, which is just absolutely absurd. Make sure you have that on. Uh, that is essential. Make sure you have that on right now after this video. Um, quote, it is unacceptable and the agency entrusted with regulating the epicenter of the world's capital markets would make such a colossal error. And again, senators uh, demanding explanation for the SEC's errant announcement of the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs. Now that we know that that is a hack, it's not necessarily their fault, uh, you know, altogether. But we've got to talk about these markets and what's going on because if we head over uh, to some of our sources where we're tracking the prices right now, Bitcoin is under forty-five thousand. That's right, under forty-five thousand right now. We are down four plus percent in the last twenty-four hours. Bitcoin down to forty-four thousand nine hundred and some change. Uh, but Ethereum which is selling off a little bit, still up in the green here today, up 2.61%. You've got Polygon up 2 plus percent uh, and some other cryptos as well. Optimism up 9% still in the last 24 hours. Uh, Lido Dow 16%. So you're seeing some altcoins run. Arbitrum 9 plus percent. Uh, MakerDAO 5%, 6% actually. Aave 5%. Uh, Synthetix 8%. Bonk still up 9%. You're still seeing some altcoins run. Is this kind of like, hey, you know, because of what happened with Bitcoin, let's let's put a flag in the ground. ground. Let's make a stance as to uh, where we're going to put our capital here right now as things get out of hand right now. It's interesting. I, I don't know exactly what's playing out, but we are getting a further dump. And this is no doubt uh, caused a big spiral out of control, market manipulation, what have you. It looks as if the Asian markets throughout the wee hours of the morning here in the United States on the East Coast have dumped Bitcoin on the news, have uh, basically sold off. Now, will this thing reverse this afternoon? That's the big question. If and when we get the news, again, ARK Invest's deadline is today for the Bitcoin spot ETF. That is the reason why we have this deadline. A lot of these other ETFs are being pushed out till March. If they do not accept ARK's uh, you know, bid right now, this thing could be pushed out to March and we would get, I think, a further sell-off of the Bitcoin price. Would that be market manipulation? Would that be strategic in order to get people in at a cheaper price point? I don't know. A lot going on. Here's what I'll tell you. Here's what I will tell you. If this thing does get pushed, I'm just talking about, about this from an investment standpoint. If this thing does get pushed, I want to tell you guys what I'm thinking and what I'm doing. I am going to be buying the dip on Bitcoin hard because if this thing gets pushed out, you better believe at some point it's going to come back up to 50 plus thousand, whether it dumps to 38,000, 36,000, 35,000. I am going to be a buyer of Bitcoin at these prices. I am not going to let the institutions and the suits buy when I don't buy. Point blank, period. I will be buying with them and winning with them when this thing gets resolved. That's again, worst case scenario, we don't get this thing through today. That's what I'm doing. 
that's what I think a lot of people should be considering, especially if they're able to do so with some dry powder on the sidelines. This is why I've waited a little bit and I've had some money on the sidelines waiting. I took a little bit of profits off the table recent weeks. This is why, because I'm ready to strike if some things go terribly south here in the short term, because I know what's happening. I know that these markets are being manipulated for people to gain. And guess what? They're not for the Jimmies and Joes and the retail people and the regular Joes like us. It's for the big shots. But I want to be in there with them and be ready to strike when they do. We'll be covering this throughout the day. I got a lot of things going on today, but I'll be keeping a close eye. More videos will be coming. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe down below. Drop in the comment section right now. I want to hear your thoughts after you smash that like button. Wild, wild things happen in crypto. Absolutely, absolutely insane. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.